Hey cool crafters! I have a quick and easy project to share with you today. I fell in love with the little twig vases that I saw on Pinterest and I'm working on a video next week that is a Thanksgiving tablescape that I'm doing in collaboration with Professor Pincushion and I wanted to create something that would bring a very rustic look to the tablescape. When I started working on this project, I started having some gluing challenges. And I knew that if I was having some gluing challenges, you could probably benefit from some of my tips and techniques on how I made this project quick and easy. Let's get started. The first thing that you need to decide is what size jar that you want to use or vase. I found these jars at Dollar Tree and it looks like they are some sort of shaker jar for spices. This is cool because you could use this as a frog to hold your flower stems inside your vase, or you can remove it. So here's tip number one. I just mark right on my work surface, the top and the bottom of my jar. That's gonna make it quick and easy for me to cut all the pieces of twigs that I need. Once you have marked the size of your vase, apply your Aline's Tacky Glue around the outside. And you want to apply this now because you want to let this set for about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, before you start gluing. That is going to make this step a lot easier. Those little twigs are going to hold. You're going to set this aside so that you can start cutting your twigs. Using the marks that I've placed on my work surface, I'm just going to use my wire snips and cut each of my branches. On the little base that I'm making, it took about 21 pieces of twigs to go around. So be sure that you cut plenty and make sure that they're very straight. With all of the twigs cut and my glue has been setting for 10 to 15 minutes, I'm ready to start gluing. So I tried this all different ways before I came up with this as being the best way. I leave my jar sitting straight up and I just press my twigs into the side. I found that the twigs did not slide one way or the other to the side and that by keeping this flat on your work surface, you can line these pieces up at the bottom so that everything stays in alignment. I know one question that may be coming to mind for many of you who use hot glue is why wouldn't I be using hot glue on this project? I have found with hot glue that if there's any sort of fluctuation in the air temperature, if it's too hot or too cold, pieces can start falling off. So I always use my tacky glue wherever I can to be sure that these pieces are going to hold from season to season. I would hate to pack this away and find that because I have tucked these away in a cold storage space or garage that my hot glue has popped right off. So you can be sure that these pieces are gonna stay in place from season to season. The next step is to tie your ribbon in place and just let everything dry. The reason I like to share these really easy tips with you is that a simple twig vase can turn into a pickup sticks project that could be really frustrating. And I wanna make your crafting easier. I'm Tiffany Windsor, and I think it's cool to craft. 